Hello and welcome back, fellow Vuperians. I'm Spike Viper, and this is Universe Sandbox 2, the only game where you can go ahead, go into the toolbar, grab a laser, set it to Galactic Empire Super Laser, and the sun isn't affected by it because that's not in the game yet. Come on! Universe Sandbox 2 team, I'm asking you one thing here and one thing only. <laughs> There's only one thing I want in life, and it's to be able to vape the sun. But we can vape Earth. Boom. Earth gone. Okay. So so the question is, what what other hidden gems are there? What can we do other than try to very inaccurately shoot pl Can I hit Venus? See, this is kind of like a challenge. You have to like try to knock the planets out from far away. We just destroying thousands of people in the process. Okay. Maybe maybe more than thousands. So let's go into the simulations. I'm actually interested if there's any like new, new simulations. Um, can I order by last modified? Solar system V2. Was that me? Oh, let's go to the spook pooper pack. They were kind of broken. Oh, are they fixed now? Hey, they seem to actually be working. Oh, shoot. Oh, yikes. Okay. Okay, maybe not that. What are we going to do? Ultimate engineered solar system. Oh, I remember this. Um, wow. I, I actually remember doing this a long time ago. All these planets are just perfectly positioned to be able to survive in the habitable zone. Bro, YouTube actually changed something to aid legality. Yeah, but they did it in like the worst possible way ever. They did it YouTube way. This new policy is going to kill more channels and make it even easier for YouTube to randomly nuke people for no reason. It's it's not good. It's not good. Okay, you know what? Let's let's do Saturn. Saturn's Saturn's fun. We we can we can make some content out of Saturn. Let's go ahead and grab Saturn. Please have your rings. Okay, grab you with your rings. Okay, no, that's your moons. We don't want that. Nope, nope, we just wanted you. With your rings? No, you don't have your, and it included your moons. Why do I even try? What is the purpose of this life? Okay, Saturn, bam, where's my ring tool? Tools. Ring, ring, add, ring, where's Saturn, Saturn's thick ring, add, boom, Saturn now has its ring, that, that's a little bit lame, isn't it, we need to terraform a laser with the sun, one day, one day we'll be able to do that, well, let's try to terraform Saturn with a laser, um, I'm sure it couldn't be challenging at all, it should be easier than Jupiter because Saturn's quite a bit smaller and we it's not going to take quite as much uh, explosive force even though we're not using explosives so um what are we gonna use uh we'll use the Galactic Empire super laser we're just going to decrease the power by a whole lot that's that's too much oh okay Terra terawatts seems to have been okay here we go here we go so we just need to get saturn hot to the point where it's expelling the gas the hydrogen gas so like it's a really tough balance because you have to ensure that you aren't actually destroying the planet completely you just want to destroy the lighter elements so here we go we're baking saturn it's like baking a cake. You, you need to get it pretty close. There's a little bit of leeway. As long as you're following the instructions, kind of, you're going to be fine. So now Saturn is kind of spitting out its guts, um, just like a cake would if you were baking. You can speed up time a bit more. And we can actually see Saturn shrinking. If we stop using the laser... It's just going to continue because it's very warm. 
So we can check on Saturn's stats. Uh, if we go into its composition, its hydrogen percentage is going to, uh, well, the other percentages are rising. You can see the iron, silicate, and water percentages are rising, and the hydrogen uh, levels are dropping. But the majority of Saturn's uh, mass is in that hydrogen. So it's shooting it out, um, and it's actually losing its mass very quickly. We can see 70 Earths, 69 Earths, 68, 67, 66. We'll speed things up a little bit more, go to composition. Um, but things are speeding up now as the hydrogen is actually getting to a noticeable uh, amount of just not existing. Although it's lost the heat. So just, just like I said before, we need to very carefully balance this because um, we don't want to destroy anything that's not hydrogen because that'll really screw up our plans. Now, Saturn already has enough water that we could actually like pull this off. Um, the interesting thing is that the hydrogen I thought would be going down a lot faster. So it looks like we may actually be vaporizing other things, just not as quickly. Um, but that's fine because like 30 Earths is too much gravity anyways for life to like survive. Okay, we're, we're definitely doing some good work here. Um, we're down to 20 Earths mass and the hydrogen percentage is dropping rapidly now 70 percent 60 percent 50 percent okay the last bits are leaving us now we have to hope that the temperature cools down enough to not destroy the water oh the water is plasma uh but it's gonna survive i think okay okay this is a big balancing act big balancing act the surface temperature is dropping. Water may actually survive. But the gas isn't leaving as quickly anymore. Um... Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. We've lost way too much material. Saturn is having a very bad time. Uh, we've lost a lot of material. Okay. That's not good. Um... We're only 0 0.216 Earth mass now. I mean, this is this is still doable. You could have people live on it because it's still 17 times the gravity of the moon. Um, but we don't want to... We, we really just want to burn off a little bit more of this gas. Just, just a little bit more. I may have to do this kind of cheatily because... I. Oh, mass is on to 3.7 Earths. Come on. Come on, hydrogen. Everything's a gas at this point. I think we're just like, yeah, yeah, at this point it's too small. Okay, so we're going to we're going to strip the few last percent of hydrogen off the 7% ourselves just because we're so close to it anyways. Um, and here we go. So we have successfully vaporized well just thrown away all the hydrogen i guess and what we've been left with huh well that's rather convenient we've kind of already got an ocean going there um it's it's very 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 cold but what we're gonna do is we're going to save this object and we're going to call saturn to the electric boogaloo we're gonna oh, create a new simulation. And we're gonna plop the sun down so that we can actually heat things up a little bit. Okay, let's go ahead and plop Saturn in. Add user objects, America. We have so many beautiful objects. Uh, but where is Saturn to the electric boogaloo? There it is. We're gonna go into view, habitable. Saturn 2, we're going to put it on kind of the, oh, I'll put it a little bit closer to the warm end because I th think that's around where Earth is. Um, 
I'd have to look, but too lazy. Oh, look at that. So the temperature negative 22.2, but there's so much water that things actually look pretty good. But we're going to heat it up a bit more. Don't worry, because we're going to go ahead and give it an atmosphere, which we got rid of its atmosphere, but now we're putting a better atmosphere on it. Don't worry. It's going to be fine. Surface pressure, we're just going to set to one so that you can breathe one atmosphere bam wow <laughs> look at the look at the climate that's that's quite incredible um you can see where the laser hit because that part of saturn is just so warm compared to the rest we're still at 500 degrees it's gonna take a while for that to cool down um but saturn does actually currently have an atmosphere now Actually, it's a 2.2 Earth atmosphere. How? Oh, the mass is back to 3.07 Earths. That's odd. Very odd. I don't know where it got the mass back from, but okay. Um, that's fine. So, too much water. We're going to decrease the amount of water a bit so that we can actually see some land. Get the shop vac out. Gotta do it the old-fashioned way. And any second now we're gonna hit the amount of water that we want. There we are. That's that looks nice. Okay. So we have to kind of pray that Saturn cools down a bit. At least on the top and then evens out a bit on the bottom. Um so let's speed things up a really large amount. And it's going to completely freeze over now. Which is not what we're trying to do, but I mean, it's getting us closer to our goal, I guess. Okay, so Saturn is now evening out in temperature. Actually, it's melting, which that's weird. Okay, it's freezing again. Yeah, 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 yeah. okay. So the ice is spreading um, very slowly, though. Actually, it looks like we have a nice range. It, we're ranging from 6 degrees down to 43, negative uh, 43, which actually isn't terrible this isn't a bad start at all all we have to do is add a little actually um absorb a bit more heat tweaking the albedo just a tiny bit should make a big difference um and raise the temperatures yeah, now it's now it's negative 23, uh, but let's actually move some industry onto Saturn and get some CO2 flowing. We'll do... No, we're not going to do one. Um, greenhouse effect. Oh, graph. Beautiful. Actually, we can see the greenhouse effect. And it is slowly increase. Oh, no, maybe not. Maybe not. Are we just going to get a sine wave here? Yes. Yes, we are. Okay, so we're going to have to be a little bit fancier. But we have to increase the temperature. It's actually... It's pretty stable. Okay. So we have to increase the temperature, and the easiest way would be moving Saturn, but that's kind of cheating. So what we will do is why is surface pressure at 1.59 atmospheres now huh interesting is that changing over time it shouldn't be <laughs> it shouldn't be um i guess we'll set that back to one earth that's gonna screw up all of our temperatures though Actually, we're like 30 something degrees and negative 20. So this is actually remarkably survivable. Um, like this, this is not bad by like universe standards. This is pretty livable for humans. A large majority of Saturn at this point would be survivable. So I think we can kind of consider this a win. Um, 
but we should probably probably find a way to lock in more heat and make it more average so i am going to increase this it's going to initially reflect more but it should hold more in as well i think albeit is weird it's kind of counterintuitive in some ways hopefully this works how i'm how i'm praying it will the minimum temperature should go up like it should even things out more i believe at least or it may just get colder it appears to be just getting colder okay screwed up fine fine we will just we will just turn it down does that make you happy how about we get a like 0 0.16 we'll just make saturn a little bit warm that's fine okay saturn saturn's at a very cozy actually cozy 17 18 degrees and the poles are only down to negative 30 and actually the equator is now at about 30. you know what you know what for for another planet i'm gonna call that a win saturn is now properly terraformed very happy now we just have to give it beautiful beautiful rings because it's not saturn if it doesn't have rings okay fantastic slow things down a bit tools it's not tools it's add ring saturn hello saturn have saturn rings oh wow beautiful fantastic fantastic okay so saturn's looking pretty great why don't we just shoot it with a laser now to uh show our superiority okay ready laser laser let's what's athena 27 Ooh, not powerful enough lame okay galactic empire super laser but let's make it purple get that super high power okay and then we're just going to decrease the power a little bit <laughs> look at the, look at how quickly it just completely annihilated it that's that's so sad the oh wow i didn't even mean to do that hello sun one day one day can i destroy a tesla using a laser um that's 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 the question should I make a video called tesla versus laser and not actually say it's in universe sandbox 2 1 billion views 10 billion dislikes <laughs> No, Teslas are actually laser proof. Um, fun fact, surround Earth with Teslas and you will be safe. Good to know. Good to know. Well, guys, we've learned a lot. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And peace out. Hail Vuperia. Watch out for the Hearts of Iron 4 series that just started. Wow, so exciting. Taking over the world again. Um, and so many things are happening. Bye!